Okay, so machine is under the cage controls. Okay, and that's my ESP32. It's connected over a Wi-Fi into my mobile phone. And my mobile phone is working as an access device for it, as an access point. And I have my laptop connected to uh, my phone as well. So, let me just look on my laptop here, restart the page. Okay, so, I am here in my, this is my menu bar. So I'm here on error frames menu, on error, 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 error frames. And um, so let me go here, select the re received error counter on the right hand side and the left hand side axis is going to be my error frames. So currently it's showing as a zero. Yeah, everything's at a zero, message is coming in so the counter is going up. So we know we are live and we're scanning the campus. So everything is on here and I, what I will try to do, I will try to show you how I'm gonna get campus jumped just by the bad connection. Okay. So look, I'm gonna start moving this wire. So I have a problem with this adapter here and um, I will start moving the wire around and that should start generate error frames. So look, just attaching it, it comes a lot of errors. Okay, just by moving this about. So if you can imagine the machine is operational, so this wire is kind of jumping up and down all over the place in the cage. Every time you move the function or you do some movement and it's generating error frames, as you can see on the graph, it's just climbing up and it's now nearly 300 error frames. So I want to do that and I want to have these error frames building up very fast. If you're gonna have a high number of error frames, then it's gonna throw the bus off and the machine is gonna go fail safe. Okay. So let me keep doing that until you can see the blue line spiking up which means this is soon is going to go off the okay there we go that's gone off now so no more error frames or they're not rising at all now they stay on 775 error frames and uh, you see the light going off so that means server machine is shut down the PLC started to flash red here okay and um, I have all the random error codes on the screen the tilt symbol and engine symbol motor symbol rod X red X and uh, error codes 01 DB 01 C5 01 C4 and 01 C2 and this is what's in the cage. Let's have a look on the ground control. Oh, so here are the ground controls. I have PLC flashing red as well. And we have the same same view here. So I got my engine symbol, motor symbol, tilt symbol. It's just saying that every, everything is gone off. So the canvas is gone feel safe and all devices is just reported as a missing. So 01 DB 0000, 01 C5 0000, 01 C4 0000 and 01 C2 0000. Okay, so if, if I switch the machine off and back on again, it's gonna possibly reset or restart. Yeah? Still getting error codes so I will replace that adapter and we're gonna check it again all right so I have replaced adapter and uh, let's get the error counters back up running so it shows zero now okay everything starts at zero and um, yeah, this was my adapter I replaced. So I think it's a bad connection or maybe bad crimping on those wires or something. So this is new one on, so let's try to move this about, see if it can generate any error frames. Let's see, 
no problems at all. Okay. So all the error is gone, no more error frames. And you can see the joystick is on. The screen shows no error codes. So that should be fine. And I'm sure the problem was with this adapter. Okay. So that's for now it. I just want to show you how you can use this ESP32 to detect the canvas faults. And it's very easy, very easy and cheap to make one. And you can have this great device, great tool for no cost at all.